there's everything they did on the 720, but instead of making you stare at this face the whole time, I'll go for a drive and then I'll read it over the video. So the first thing I asked them about was to check the suspension because there is a known issue with 720 suspensions. They did not find, they saw in the history where there was a fault at one point, but they could not recreate it or get it to come back. So they determined it a non-issue. Uh, the windshield seal is lifting, which I've complained about before, where it was pulling off every time I closed the door. They got a new seal, installed it, fully covered. Uh, the center dash vent, wouldn't open and close so the AC wouldn't come through it. They agreed, they fixed it, and they did not charge me for it. The left front fender had some bubbles on the edge of the paint. They put all new seals around it, put it back on, no charge. Um, they, found, they found a coolant leak, performed a pressure test, found where it was leaking. Hose clamp was not tight enough. They replaced it, the leak went away. Um, refilled it and no issues, no big drips, just a small one. So they found an oil leak at the rear main seal. They replaced the seal and then tested for leaks. It's no longer leaking. That looked like that would have been a really expensive one for the amount of work. They had to pull the entire transmission out to get it taken care of. So that, that's a good one to get covered under warranty. By the rear exhaust on the left-hand side, the heat shield was chipping paint. They replaced that again at no charge. They also, found a cooking noise from the front end while staring at low speeds. So they removed the rack and pinion and cleaned everything up, put it back together, no more clicking noise. So overall, the dealership did a really good job taking care of me, fixing every little thing they could find and recreate, and then making sure that it was all warranty covered. Fate of the 720, I'm gonna keep it for a couple months just because it's super fun to drive, but it is going to be eventually sold. I, I have no timetable for it, so you'll see videos until I tell you I'm selling it. Let me know what you think on everything the dealership did, and if there's anything else you want to see from the McLaren before I decide to sell it, or do you just want to see me drive it and enjoy it?